JICA Lecture Series of Japanese Development Experience to date. In line with the JICA Global Agenda, Cooperation Strategies by Development Issues. History and Lessons of Developing the Japanese Railway Network. I am Shigeru Morichi, National Graduate Institute for Policy Studies, and also I am a, a Professor Emeritus of Tokyo Institute of Technology and Tokyo University. The title of my lesson is History and Lessons of Constructing the Japanese Railway Network. The Meiji Revolution, uh, from a feudal state to modern state, was in 1868, about uh, 150 years ago. Before the year, Japan was closed to the uh, foreign countries except Netherlands and uh, from the local city. Therefore, Japan needed the innovation in many fields running from developed country. However, today, Japan was uh, known as a starter of uh, uh, Shinkansen high-speed railway and privatization of uh, uh, National Railway and TOD, uh, Transit-Oriented Development, and the, also the uh, other network in Tokyo was very famous as a very reliable and safety. Then the questions are, uh, how did Japan get the railway technology? How did Japan establish the urban railway network in Tokyo? Just next year of the Meiji Revolution, the first railway plan was approved. And uh, three years later, the first railway between Tokyo and Yokohama was started operation. The top leader of the Meiji government was uh, uh, almost 100 people. They are very young, 20s and 30s. And 50% uh, of the 100 people was uh, uh, sent it as the Iwakura missions to learn the, uh, so many fields, for example, the legal system, education system, infrastructure, industry, and so on. For the social innovation in many fields, Japan government invited uh, almost 3,000 uh, foreign experts to invite an uh, excellent expert. The salary was uh, unbelievably high. 120,000 US dollars in present value. It's uh, not the years, it's a monthly. There was no ODA to save the money. The term of each uh, foreign expert was uh, only two years, three years, four years. This is the first railway between Tokyo and Yokohama. And the uh, right side figure is uh, the uh, structure, and it was on the sea, and uh, recently uh, it was uh, excavated uh, two years ago, and uh, the preservation as a uh, historical culture property was decided. The second railway was uh, between Osaka, Kyoto, and Otsu. This figure shows the tunnels. It was uh, constructed just by the Japanese young engineers. In 1881, the first private railway, Nippon Railway Company, opened the uh, first line between Tokyo and Takasaki, northern part of Tokyo. And every country willing to export their own railway systems. For example, Tokyo was a UK standard, Kyushu west side, German standard, and north side, Hokkaido, was a, a US standard. However, Japanese government or decide the unification of the standard uh, for the national wide network. This figure was the history of the expanding the network of the national railway, and the blue line is the operating link in this town, and the red line is the start the operation in this town. This is from 1872 and next.
In 1914, Tokyo Station was built, which is currently used as a terminal station of various railway lines, such as conventional railway lines, subway, and high speed railways. This historic station is also known as the symbol of Tokyo, which attracts many tourists. In the Second World War, almost infrastructure, industries, and many cities were destroyed. So, the Japanese government deconstructed all of them. And in the case of Hiroshima cities, the tram was started just three days after the、uh, nuclear bomb. That showed the、uh, ethics of railway peoples. The Shinkansen was started the operation in 1964. After the successful result of this project, the many countries follow the construction of a high speed railway. For example, France started theirs in 1981, almost 20 years after Japan, Germany in 1991, and in Asia, Republic of Korea in 2004, Taiwan in 2007, and China in 2007. Shin Pei Goto, famous active politician, proposed a high speed railway before the First World War, and this was realized by the Tokaido Shinkansen. The project of Tokaido Shinkansen between Tokyo and Osaka was realized by the, his idea. In Europe and the United States, the railway was、uh, declining industries because of the Uh, motorizations. And the Minister of Finance in Japan said that the construction of the high speed railway was very stupid. However, the National Shinkansen Railway Development Law was uh, uh, approved in 1970, and the Shinkansen development is on progress based on this law. Now, on, let me talk about the Tokyo area urban railways. In Tokyo metropolitan area, you can reach the station in、uh, 10 minutes on foot. And almost 84% in the、uh, downtown area was covered like that. How did Japan establish the railway network in Tokyo? The first master plan in Tokyo was in 1920. And most important is, firstly, the、uh, proposal is not only the Railway network, but also the financial systems or organization and so on. And the second important issue is to make the plan that so many academic peoples and stakeholders w a s joining that. After the plan in 1920, the serious earthquake was occurred in 1923. The next master plan was、uh, Uh, revised in 1925 and started the、uh, construction. The famous politician Goto, who was the first president of the、uh, South Manchuria Railway Company Limited and was the governor of Tokyo. And in the case of Tokyo, the very important issue is the circular lines. You know, the, in Europe, major cities or US, The intercity railway terminal was divided north station, south station, east station, and west. However, in the case of Japan, this terminal was connected by the circular line. And these terminals on the circular line became the sub center in Tokyo. After two years after Goto's plan of 1925, The first subway was constructed by a private company in Tokyo. It was constructed without the support of developed countries. The master plan was devised by the、uh, increasing demand. This is a master plan approved in 1962. The target year was 1975. And the most important issues in this master plan w a s、uh, Proposal of direct operation between suburban railway and subway. This is the National Railway Circular Line. And inside this Yamanote line, circular line, the two subway operators are there. 
And the outside of uh, Osakura Line, uh, covered by the uh, private railways and the uh, Japan National Railway and some semi-public railways. This map showed the uh, urban railway network in Tokyo metropolitan area. And the uh, Ring Line was uh, named the Yamanote Line, operated by JR. And inside this uh, circular line, the two subway operators are there. And outside this circular line, seven major private railways and uh, JR, and also almost 10 semi-public railways. And the most important issue is uh, not only that so many operators, but also these networks show the hierarchy structures. Hierarchy structure means for the long distance passengers, the first train was selected. And uh, uh, inside the metropolitan area, inside the downtown, the short distance uh, between the stations and they can walk to the, these stations. That uh, hierarchy system is very, very important. In this master plan, in addition to the usual railway proposal, the uh, new town access railway and the subsidy for this construction was approved. As an incentive for private railway companies' investment, the new fare rule was introduced. The subsidy scheme for airport access railway was also approved. This plan in 2000, targeting 2015, the most important proposal is uh, categorized the uh, proposal line. The class one was uh, uh, construct immediately. Class two is uh, construct, start the construction in this uh, 15 years. And third one is uh, analysis uh, to implement or not. And also in this master plan, the new improvement for the disabled peoples. And also, a new subsidy system was started for the seamless networks. Seamless networks means between the different operators and also different modes. I would like to mention here that the urban railway network was not developed only in Tokyo, but also in other major cities, such as in Osaka and Nagoya as well. In these cities, the master plan were also planned by the transport council, including professors and engineers. Then the urban railway network was developed based on the master plans, as I lectured in the Tokyo example. The urban railway in Osaka city has also realized the business models that were not found in the world. The first was TOD, Transit Oriented Development, by Ichizo Kobayashi, the founder of uh, Hankyu Railway Company. More than 80 years before the importance of TOD was advocated in the United States, it realized urban railway and residential development along the railway line in 1907. Installment sales of homes are also his idea. His idea was to set up department stores in the city center and universities and theaters in suburbs to increase demand from the city center to suburbs and holiday demand. These ideas spread as a business model for Japanese private railways. As a result, many urban railway lines in Tokyo and Osaka were developed by private companies. The second is a simultaneous construction of Midosuji, a beautiful main street in city center and the subway below it by the mayor of Osaka, Hajime Seki. He was the first in the world to introduce a beneficiary burden system, impact fee, for subway construction costs. Also, in-station business is very popular in Japan. There are many shops and restaurants in the station, which attract more passengers for the railway station, as you can see in the picture. These urban development along the railway lines in station business and development of underground station square can be seen everywhere in Japan. This is one of the major features of the Japanese railway system. 
I would like to emphasize here that the Japanese railway system continues to make evolution. These pictures show the Maghreb is under construction now with a speed of 500 km per hour. It means in the near future, between Tokyo and Osaka, the distance was 500 km was covered by one hour. It means Tokyo, Osaka, Nagoya in 500 km might be the like a one mega city. Okay, this is the conclusion. Initially, although Japan depends on foreign employees, however, through the training of young engineers, Japan can produce, build, operate, maintain railway by ourselves. Second, create a master plan with a long-term perspective, propose uh, not only railway plans, but also new frameworks for financial resources and organizations for realization. And create a master plan in collaboration with related stakeholders and professors. And third, unifying standards considering the networking between railway lines. Based on Japan's experience, JICA contributed to the development of transportation infrastructure worldwide in terms of railway planning, construction, operation, and maintenance. And thank you very much for your kind attention. Japan has modernized from a non-Western background to establish a free, democratic, prosperous, and peace-loving nation. In this sense, Japan is one of the best development models for developing countries and regions today. In addition, Japan has contributed to economic growth in many developing countries, especially in Asia. Therefore, we would like to share with you Japan's unique experiences of modernization, which is different from Western countries, and cooperation for developing countries through this video material. This video series provides a comprehensive summary by development issues according to the lineup of JICA's cooperation strategy called the JICA Global Agenda.